tell you how much I love the hood. Yesterday, I went to a pharmacy around the way to get my photo taken. The screen was missing. Like the white screen that you have to stand in front of to take your photo, it was missing. No one knew it was missing until I came in wanting a passport photo. Who is stealing screens? Like who is out here boosting passport photos? Like where they at though? <laughs> Come to the house. I don't even have to go out. I'm so happy because I just think about young Jesse. When I was a little girl, this is what I wanted. I wanted to live a life of traveling. I wanted Louis Vuitton and I am so serious when I say that because my grandmère used to clean houses. to day eight of my 25 days of vlogging. C'est moi, Jesse, your resident Francophile, and here on Cappuccinos and Consignment, I focus on lifestyle, travel, and finance. Si vous play, take a moment to like, subscribe, and follow. Follow me over on Insta. I have a blog, and I am desperately trying to find my way on TikTok. So here on my 25 days of vlogging, since I am not a holiday person, I will spend these days doing a bit of fashion history, sharing some behind the scenes and transparency of content creating with regards to me. I cannot speak for anyone else. And um, yeah, just random spend the day at Bec Moise. Today will be one of those spend the day at Bec Moise. Yesterday I did the history of the Speedy. I I've spoken about the Fendi logo and just go back. I I've addressed some things. I shared how I make money as a content creator since I do not do a lot of brand deals. A lot of good stuff. Here we are bright and early. I am mid skincare morning skincare routine and I'm into my Dothis. I guess that's what we'll call it, the dressing room office, to reply to comments really early. I wanted to do that because I've been a bit behind with vlogging, vlogmas. Recording and editing and posting every day is such a task, but it's something I said I wanted to do, so I am. And with that, I have I think falling behind on other things. I'm not replying to comments as fast as I used to. I make a point to reply back to every comment that I receive because you all are spending the ultimate luxury avec moi and that is your time. I'm a bit down. If you are new here, transparency, it's a given. Like I tell it like it is. I am not one to move in silence. I feel as though we need a community behind us and I'm a bit bummed. I, so in addition to replying to comments this morning, I go through my emails and all. I pitched to a, a department. Let's just say that. I pitched to a department and I was real. I knew it was a long shot. That's the thing. I knew it was a long shot because this isn't a brand, like it's a department. And I pitched and I was just, just hoping like there would be some way that we can make that work. But they replied back today and said that they, you know, they just don't have anything like that. Like it doesn't exist. But so I am, um, of course, I feel a bit down, but I always try to look at the good one. I'm glad they replied back because a lot of times if you have ever pitched to anyone, you know a lot of times you don't get replies back. So not only did they reply back, they also said that they would keep me in mind if if ever an opportunity arises. So I'm trying to process that and look at it um, from that brighter side. So say la vie, I'll, I'll be over this before you know it. So today I want to head out to a printer if I have not mentioned it here, I know I have a lot on Insta. I have a candle line coming out, a collaboration. I collaborated with an amazing black woman who owns a candle making business and we worked together to develop a signature scent, Pour Moi, and I am so in love. And I'm not just saying this because it's mine. I'm saying this because I put so much love and energy to creating this and I wanted to have it launched so long ago but truly i've been procrastinating and gallivanting all around paris i just i guess i really i've been scared like i have not had any products for cappuccinos and consignment proper and i i guess i don't want to disappoint people i'm, I'm just scared like that's what it is so 
I went online to get some candles printed, some labels printed, and I did not like the dimensions that I saw. I'm a visual learner, so I need to see things. And I want to go to a local print shop so I can see the stickers, the labels, touch them, fill them, meet the people. And, you know, just build a rapport. I feel like we do so much online, like that's just a lost art form, actually meeting people. So this is how the candle would look. This is the two wick. I decided to go with the three wick because I want the smell to like fill your entire space, but it will be this matte black. It's just so sleek and it smells like money. It smells so good. And I am telling you this is the truth, which I always share the truth, but I wrote about this years ago, how luxury is not just about designer goods. I mentioned well before I even thought about a candle collaboration that this is a luxury. Just lighting a nice candle and filling your home with a fragrance that makes you feel so warm and so good. So I'm really, really thrilled and um, I, I just can't believe I'm holding it in my hand. So that'll be soon. So after I do that, I need to go get my passport photo taken. I have like two spaces left and I barely made it out of France. And it's only because I frequent Paris so much that I was um, able to get in if you do not know with passports for the most part you have to have two extra pages to travel like a lot of countries will not let you in if you do not have two extra pages and I don't have that but because I frequent Paris so much I was able to you know maneuver my way in but I cannot do that again so I need to go and get my passport photo taken let me tell you how much I love the hood. Yesterday, I went to a pharmacy around the way to get my photo taken. The screen was missing. Like the white screen that you have to stand in front of to take your photo, it was missing. No one knew it was missing until I came in wanting a passport photo. So it has been so crazy. I'm like, who is stealing screens? Like who is out here boosting passport photos? Like... Where they at though? <laughs> Come to the house. I don't even have to go out. As I was looking through my passport, like I know I'm blessed. I never forget that I am blessed at all. But as I was looking through my passport, it's like, wow. It's been like six years and I have filled my entire passport. Oh my goodness. And it just, it makes me so happy because I just think about Young Jesse, when I was a little girl, this is what I wanted. I wanted to live a life of traveling. I wanted Louis Vuitton. And I am so serious when I say that because my grandmere used to clean houses um, in a very wealthy neighborhood in DC. And I remember seeing LV trunks when I was a little girl. And I wanted that. I did not know, of course, how much it cost, but I knew it looked rich and I wanted it. So it's just like things like that. It's so humbling and it just brings my life around so full circle and I'm blessed. So on these days when I feel down like this, I know that it's all good because the blessings are pouring in and even with the support that you all have been showing. I shared with you all that I don't take a lot of brand deals and the reason why you all have come through. You all have been buying my thrifting guides. You all have been watching the ads and it, it just makes me so happy. My goal is to have cappuccinos and consignment to sustain itself. Brand deals are amazing. I will, I will never speak against that. People are getting money. Like they are rich doing this and I do not knock the hustle. I absolutely love it. I told Mezami before that there are like about five brands that I really, really want to work with. And I'm just so particular about who I let in my space. Watch that vlog. I believe it's um, Money Talks or something. I can't remember the name right now. I'm a bit out of it. And um, yeah, so my, my goal really has been for cappuccinos and consignment to be self-sufficient and anything extra is like a cherry on top. So I'm really going to take it easy because again, I am, I cannot deny that I am a bit disappointed, but I know this too shall pass. To lift my spirits, I'm going to go ahead and um, do like a raffle. When I was in Paris two weeks ago, I purchased... Um, 
three Neverfuls, I believe, three pairs of earrings and some other stuff at LV. I raffled off one pair of LV earrings and a Neverfull and the winners have been posting this week. So I've been so happy seeing that. I wanted to give my mare a Neverfull and a pair of earrings, but once she found out how much they cost, she's like, you're not gonna have nobody busting me upside my head taking that expensive purse and earrings. I don't want that. I have three four never full so yeah they have to go so i'm going to go ahead yeah i'll do that today that will make me happy so i will go ahead and launch the um launch the raffle and perhaps i can end it on christmas that will be like the 25th day yeah so let me let me get myself up let me get myself together i am going to take the kiddos for the walk if you do follow me over on insta you know that every morning like i record myself preparing an espresso and then out walking so let me get that done and i will see you all <sighs> i'll see you all around the day is going to get better like i'm claiming it that that's just that's what it is because it's not bad like, it's really not bad. I have so much to be thankful for. And yeah, so let's get to it. All righty. Ciao for now. As I mean, join us for the longest walk in history. Every Lee must be investigated. C'est notre pour manger. Oui. Je ne sais pas. we are home as you can see i decided to switch up you know i usually record on the other side of the dressing room where my designer handbags are truly the tripod was right here and i'm like i'm not moving it that was a challenge trying to get my passport photo mon dieu one place i went to not the one that got jacked <laughs> where the screen got jacked the second one i went to the camera was broke I went to the third one. They had pretty much like a Polaroid. That was basically a Polaroid. It, it, I feel like a Polaroid, the picture would have come, come out better. I look crazy in my photo. I am like, oh my God. But after how much I paid, I had no clue passport photos were that expensive now. And I didn't realize that now you have to take off your glasses. You can't smile. All of those things and like the lighting was horrible in there. I have like the indentation from my glasses on my nose. It, it just, the picture is not great. I, yikes. I, I may not be allowed into a country. People may not think it's me on that photo, but say la vie, it is half past four. The printing shop that I wanted to go to, it was downtown. So trying to find parking was a mess. I really did not feel like fighting and I'm actually really tired. So I just went ahead, did the photo, stopped at the wine shop, got a bottle of champagne because I just really want some bubbles. I have a nice bottle here, but I want like a fun bottle of bubbly. I, I don't want to 
pull out the big guns. So yeah, I'm going to have that edit this vlog and I have a reel that I need to post for Insta. I have a OOTD. I recorded one today. I realize I have not posted those here in some time. I was trying to just edit these vlogs alone daily is a lot. So I'll have the OOTD posted as a short and I feel like I need to do like a TikTok something else. Oh, I just announced there is a bonus LV raffle. Yay! I am raffling off another brand new Neverfull and the silver LV earrings. Those are so hard to find. So those will be the two. All of the info will be on my website. It's simple. Just cash app. It's, it's easy. And um, I want to do the drawing on Christmas morning. I think that will be a fun way to end like 25 days of vlogging. So I am going to go ahead, get this edited um, and just do some more things I need to do around the house before I call it a night. Alrighty, ciao for now.